So welcome to another Rider Cam TV video, and this is part of our Back to Basics. Rider Cam TV goes back to basics. Um, a series devoted to people that are returning to biking, perhaps getting into biking for the first time. I've got those massive questions to you, but perhaps small questions to other people. So let's get them out of the way. So you would have seen our video of control that Mark was doing, how to control your bike, all the switches, the brakes, which side the clutch is on and all that sort of stuff. And on this one, we've got an incredibly big bike. We've both got these big BMW bikes and people think, how on earth do you ride it? But they're the same as any bike. And we're going to talk about the balancing and how to use the side stand and how to use the centre stand. First things first, we have just down here a side stand. And the side stand looks really funny. It's, got a, it's just a metal pole with a flat bit and this little nib is where you push it with your foot and it's got a spring to make sure that when it's down it stays down and when it's up it stays up. So, if I get on this lovely bike... You just want to sit on the bike! I love Mark's bike! So, that is, the, that is the side stand, and you can see, you know, it's really well balanced. You can almost sit there with both of your feet off, off the ground for quite some time, because the bike's really well balanced. However, there is the set side stand. So most people, I, I tend to use my heel, and flick it up and because the spring is there it keeps it there so it won't then as you're riding along flap down and get in the way now there's also another thing for this bike most bikes have got it I think nearly all bikes have got it I think they all have it there there's a um, sensor in here and it's usually just a, it presses in to um, press a switch in that when the side stand is down you can't select first gear and ride off if you select first gear nine times out of ten when you select gear with or without the clutch with the side stand down the engine will cut out and it's a safety feature so that when you go to ride and it sounds really silly the amount of people who do forget I forget Mark forgets every easy now and then. easy well, I know you do. I've been behind you. In <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really easy to forget. You've just started the bike up, the side stand is down, and you go to put it in first gear because you've just been distracted for a couple of seconds. So if you then put it into first gear, the bike will stop. And you'll think, what on earth is wrong with this bike? And it's a safety feature that means that the bike can't ride off with, a sense, with the side stand down. Because if you can imagine that's a metal pole, first thing it hits, it's going to chuck you off the bike. So that's, if that happens to you, look down there first and make sure that that's up. So when you flick it up, I use my uh, heel and I flick it up and the spring makes sure that it sits nicely and it doesn't flap about. So you've stopped your riding and I now want to put the side stand down. That little knob bit there, as you can see just here, is where I then put my foot and I literally just push it down and the spring, there's a certain point that it gets to where the spring will then flick it into place. And then you can then let your bike down. That's how we use a sun stand. Excellent. Simple. So, not all bikes have got this. I'd say probably about 70% of bikes. So if you're talking about sports bikes, some smaller bikes, um, some sport tourers, that sort of thing. Some of them haven't got what we call a centre stand. Fortunately this one has, and I like the fact that there's a centre stand because you can do a whole host of things like get the wheels off the ground to just check the tyres and all that sort of stuff, but that's, that's not for one of these videos. So, just following me down here, this is, this big contraption is a centre stand. And you'll see that the centre stand has got two bits that touch the floor, one down here and one across there. It's got a center pole and it's connected to the bike on both sides, one here and one the other side, identical. And it has massive springs. Now those massive springs that are in there are literally exactly the same principle as the side stand that if you were to leave it go, it would go back up into the um, off position, the up hidden position. Up Let's position. Let's call it up position. Up position. <laughs> Which means that when you're riding along, those springs are so tight that they 
don't let it flap because if you can imagine same principle as a side stand riding along and you go over a stone and this is flat down it's going to take you off the bike so safety first the side stand always goes up so how do i use the center stand or how do you use the center stand on this bike this is a 260 kilo bike and i'm going to show you how easy it is to use a center stand a lot of people struggle sometimes, certainly when you're learning how to put a bike on a centre stand. It sounds really silly, but it's a big thing to know how to do and to not hurt yourself. If you can imagine lifting 260 kilos on your back, you're going to injure yourself. But the law of um, gravity and the laws of physics are in place because it has a handy little footstool. Or foot, a foot, a foot, foot thing foot thing to help you push down on the centre stand and obviously using your foot and all of the muscles down your leg means that you're working against those springs so if I was to leave go it would bounce back so in order to use the centre stand and put this beast on the centre stand I need this bike to be kind of upright now these bikes are incredible they're so well weighted and you could walk around the whole bike and hold it in one place, as you can most of them. But my left hand, which is up here. Uh, th that's your left hand, I wonder yeah, where it had gone. Holds on to the left hand side of the bike. And this is why nearly always you get on and off your bike on the left hand side, because the stand is here and you're working with the stand. Because if I go and fall off, the bike's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> it's only the floor, it's only the concrete. But you're not gonna fall off. And you've got this lever, which is operated by the foot, is only on the left-hand side. So if I was to get on the other side, it would be difficult to take it on and off the stand. And it works in a principle of physics. You've got the lever, and you've also got all of these handy places to grab hold of. That would be like fulcrums and things like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Every day's a school day, isn't it? Every day's a school day. <laughs> so, with your foot down, Putting a little bit of pressure on, you can see underneath that I have got both of those feet flat on the ground. Yeah? They're both flat on the ground. So if I took my, took my hands off, because Mark can come back up, keeping the weight on my knee. On your knee? On my knee. <laughs> and pushing down onto that lever of the centre stand, the bike isn't going anywhere and I've got my hands free. And what I would then do is hand underneath there, hand on the left hand handlebar, and I'd literally stand on the bike. And it would find its own way up. Really, really simple. There it is. So, just to demonstrate it from the left hand side, the bike has got both of those bits of the stand pivoted. You can see my hands wiggling like that. I have no control with my hands, it's all on my feet. Are you sure that's you? Yeah. With my hands. <laughs> and it's really important because you don't need to put pressure on your back. Use this, that's what this bit of metal and the lever's for. And literally, I grab hold of the left hand handlebar and at the back where you've seen on the luggage rack, and I literally put all of my weight onto their push down. That is it. Wow. That wow. Now the other thing about the side stand is that the bike, I'm not sure whether, if I pull it out flat with, like that, if you have a look from the front rack, the other thing from the side stand is when you've got the side stand down, the bike leans over. As you can see, it's quite a lean, isn't it? On some of the old GSs, the lean is quite dramatic. It feels like the bike's going to go over. But if the bike is leaning that way, and that puts it in a solid place, it can't fall over. And if you left it in first gear, it's not going to go forward. So if you're parking, and the, the left-hand side of the ground is higher than you are, you might get to the point where we very often do, where you try and put the side stand down, but the, the ground is too high and you can't get the stand down. So you, when you're going and parking, park with the ground on the left, 
um, falling away slightly. So in England, on the left-hand side of the road is where we ride, the camber goes away, and that's ideal for parking. But if you're riding abroad, you'll be on the right-hand side of the road, and therefore the camber will lead you over. You might not be able to get it round, so you might have to think about how you park before you do it. Don't just pull up, yank it down, and realise that it's not there, and then drop the bike. How do you take it off? Some people, you'll see, and I'm not criticising them at all, will sit on the bike and they'll rock the bike until it comes off. <laughs> now, I know Mark doesn't do that. <laughs> and I don't do that for the simple reason that you should be in control of your bike all of the time. And you can see the control I had with just the weight on my leg on, on there. And you can have it in exactly the same way on the way back. So the easiest way to take the bike off the stand is literally keep I always keep this side stand down by the way always keep it out if I'm maneuvering the bike backwards and forwards if I'm putting it on or off the side stand I always keep that down some people will say you perhaps should put that up but I like the added security that if the bike gets away all you've got to do is step away and it goes onto the side stand so you can take it off in two ways, so you can either just rock it slowly and then rest it on the side stand. Was that a grunt then? <laughs> That's only the ninth time you've done it. <laughs> or some people like to like to hold on to this, but I find it awkward because you can control it all the way down and then rest it. And you're using the same principle of those two points staying on the ground so that the bike can't go to and fro and it's just eased down. But you'll, you'll, you'll get it. So some people will use a different technique. I don't always use this technique because it's a, it's a bit of a faff I find because of the size of the bike. However, you can keep your foot there and just let gently rock the bike until you've then got the control and just ease it down. Take your foot off, literally onto the side stand. It's one of those things that you have to do for your um, mod one test. I think it's mod one, isn't it? Where you have to maneuver the bike around, where you have to move it around and put it on the stand perhaps, I can't remember exactly, but putting it on and off the stand is really important because when you get to somewhere and you're gonna stop, it's really good to be able to make sure that the bike is secure. <laughs> um, but if you've liked the video, give it a massive thumbs up. It does really help us. We'll, we'll be doing a lot more of these basic videos in a series which you'll find in a playlist as they come out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video.